Hey, what's going on guys? Cut of Truth here, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my new favorite weapon in Battlefield 3, and that is the Spaz-12. And it's not the Spaz-12 with Buckshot and Flechette that I loved up through 20 service stars with. No, I finally ditched those and uh, started using the Slug Rounds, which is something that a lot of people are probably laughing at me for right now, just because Slug Rounds... Many people consider it to be the ultimate ammo type for pump action shotguns in Battlefield 3, but I just never really uh, wanted to use them, never really cared for them honestly. I didn't want to figure out how to effectively use slug rounds until I started getting killed by that a lot more on pump action shotguns, and I said, you know what, I really do need to learn how these things work, how to be effective with them, because they are obviously very powerful, and they are. Now, when I first started to use the Spaz-12, like I said, I was a buckshot flechette guy, Never even thought about using slug rounds, and then I really did discover the power of these things, and after using them for just a couple matches, I kind of learned a few tips to really improve my gameplay when using slug rounds and make the most of the strengths of these very, very powerful rounds on the shotgun. Now before I get into any more details about it, I just want to say I'm by no means some kind of authority on this. I'm a decent player with the Spaz-12, I wouldn't say I'm good, I'd say I'm just okay. But uh, I've gotten quite a few kills with this gun, and these tips I'm going to give you guys are just ones I have learned, or figured out ra rather, that have helped my gameplay when using slug rounds on the Spaz-12 and even the 870 uh, combat shotgun. Now the first thing you need to remember when unlocking slug rounds is they are not a, they're not a spread of pellets when you fire them. It's basically like one giant ball that's coming out of the end of your gun, and a lot of guys don't seem to understand that. The slug round, there's no extra, you know, pellet coming this way, pellet coming this way, oh, whatever, certain damage per pellet. No, this is one giant ball with the shotgun, and is something that you need to be very accurate with. Whereas opposed to buckshot and flechette, you can kind of spam fire with them in close quarters and get kills. Not the Spaz-12. And then wonder yourself, well, how do you prevent yourself, you know, getting over that learning curve of not spamming in close quarters? Well, the first thing I learned is that you need to slow down and play more passively when using the Spaz-12. And I know I say that as I am uh, running around in TDM on canals, although this is after quite some time after I started using slug rounds and growing a little bit more accustomed to them. But when you first start to use them, guys, try to slow yourself down. Now, that sounds weird because you are using a shotgun, which is the ultimate close quarters gun. So you figure, why in the world want to slow down and play, you know, a bit more passively and maybe hang back some because... You know, this is a shotgun. I need to be up in the action face to face with my enemies. Well, not when you're using slug rounds. Once again, you need to keep in mind what type of ammo you're using. It's a giant ball that you're shooting out, not a spread of pellets that really, you know, drop off over range. This thing has got some pretty good power. Now, it will do a max of 100 damage out to 15 meters, which will kill enemies in both the hardcore and normal core mode. Even the minimum damage on this weapon with slug rounds still packs a punch at 40 out to 50 meters. So, this is a ranged ammo type and you should use it as such. How I like to think of it is, use maybe something like an AK-74M, the AKS-74U, the SCAR-L. Weapons like that in the Assault class and Engineer class are kind of good models that I have found when starting out to use the slug rounds. Those kind of guns, you're not going to run ultimate close quarters, you know, you're not going to just be running around trying to, you know, go in canals or on the new Close Quarters DLC maps and, like, hit fire with those. No, those are more ranged weapons. Try to use the Spaz-12 like those weapons. Now, you don't want to take them out as far as those weapons can go when it comes to the range, but, you know, try to think of it like you're using a ranged assault rifle, except don't hang back quite as far. The second thing you want to remember when using the slow rounds on the Spaz-12 or 870 is that you need to take an extra second to align your shot. You don't want to just start spamming that trigger and hopefully you'll get the kill. No, take that extra second to align your shot. Keep in mind that the sh the ammo type you're firing will do a lot of damage on impact. I mean, a lot of damage. You will get a surprising number of one-shot kills, especially if your enemy has been hurt previously. Because you're firing just one giant ball of ammo type, oftentimes you will be rewarded for taking an extra half a second or even full second to align your shots. Because if you do take that split second to align your shots, even when the enemy like looks at you and returns fire, you will probably drop him because of your patience because you waited and aligned your shot up rather than just trying to spam fire. And one of the final things I've learned that has made these slow grounds very effective for me is flank 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 now this is something that is very important if you really want to run slug rounds and are struggling to use them remember guys if you flank and get behind some enemy teammates or not enemy teammates some enemies 
it will make it even more effective because you, if you can take an extra second to align your shots because the, the enemies are not going to know that you're there and if they don't know you're there it will allow you a lot of time to look down your scope or your iron sights whichever one you prefer on the spazzer 870 and get those one shot kills and it really boosts your confidence when using these pump action shotguns with slug rounds and one of the final tips i can give you guys when using slug rounds on these spaz 12 or 870 do not hit fire you see me do it occasionally just out of kind of just panic and i see a guy you know running up to me like it's just a one-on-one -on -one fight right in close quarters i will hit fire however i would not recommend these things have got horrendous hit fire because once again you have to be extremely accurate with your shot and if you're not extremely accurate with your shot you will not get kills it is that simple and as you can see right here from this gameplay what did i do i flanked you know how many three, four, five guys on the enemy team, and it allows me to take them out very easily because I take that extra second to align my shot. I could have started running in behind those three guys and just spamming the trigger as fast as I could, but I didn't. I kind of slowed down, took my time to align the shots up, and I dropped the enemies. Because of the power behind the slug round in the Spaz 12 or 870, you will drop your enemies very, very quickly because of the power, and it's just going to be one shot probably 99% of the time. Now, the other thing I want to say is a lot of guys have been wondering, you know, what is better, the Spaz-12 or the H-70? What's the biggest difference between the two? And there really is only two main differences between the shotgun. One is a plus for the Spaz, one is a plus for the H-70. The Spaz-12 will, re or excuse me, will shoot slightly faster than the H-70. I believe it's 20 rounds a minute faster than the H-70 combat shotgun, which is not a huge difference if you're using slug rounds. It is if you're using buckshot or flechette. And the only other thing also has to do with buckshot and flechette rounds, and that is the 870 fires one more pellet. It will fire 12 pellets, while the Spaz-12 only will fire 11. Now keep this in mind if you're going to choose one of these shotguns to use, if you do prefer buckshot or flechette rounds. However, if you are going to use slug rounds, that really doesn't matter. I would actually encourage you to use the Spaz over the 870 just for that extra fire rate. However, once again, I would not recommend spamming it in close quarters just because you need to be extremely accurate with your shot when using slug rounds on a pump action shotgun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of tips video. If you did, please leave me your comments down below. And also, if you have more tips that you want to share with people that are trying to grow accustomed to slug rounds on shotguns, please leave them in the comments section, guys. These are very, very powerful rounds. I would like you guys to understand how they work. So if you found more tips, better tips, please leave them in the comments section. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.